Hello, I am Pale Lakanyo Fori and this is City News Daily on City TV. Coming up, government promises to foot the hospital bills of victims of yesterday's gas explosion in Accra. Details of that shortly. So one more person has been confirmed dead following yesterday's gas explosion around the Trade First Centre in La in Accra. The total number of people injured in yesterday's accident has also risen to over 40. The health minister Alex Sagrafia visited some hospitals where the victims are on admission and said that government will foot the bills of all of them. Meanwhile, some experts also visited the accident scene to assess the extent of damage. They included personnel from the security agencies, the National Disaster Management Organization and officials from the Environmental Protection Agency. Now, the chief of Bese in Accra, Ni Ayubunte, has stated that he would not abdicate his tool. This comes two days after members in that traditional area gave him a seven-day ultimatum to step down as chief. Uh, this followed similar calls on social media to put pressure on him to step down. Ni Ayubunte, during the election period, promised to abdicate his tool if the National Democratic Congress lost the elections. A youth leader for Bese Ni Anan Agbomeshak told City News no one has the authority to force the chief to step down. Now, residents in Manchi and Koliman are faced with a lot of challenges. They have no public toilet and no taps. They rely on hand dug wells and boreholes for their daily chores. Now, despite the challenges they face, they are looking forward to celebrating the Christmas with staff of City FM. Now people have started bringing their donations to help this project so you can also bring yours we are waiting and help us put a smile on the faces of these children on Boxing Day the 26th of December. So the Mac talked about Christmas concert of the year is coming up tomorrow at the Accra International Conference Centre. I'm referring to City FM's December to remember concert and for those of you who come there every year the attire will be white top and jeans and artists who will be performing are those who made hits in the year 2016. Shatawali, Guru, the Onapo hits maker Diaja, Ochiame Kwame and more will be entertaining patrons of City FM's December. To remember it's going to be exciting, trust me. And if you think the night is going to be just music, then you got it wrong. We have comedy from someone who will make you laugh all through the night. I'm talking about Hogan. You can pick your tickets at the front desk of City FM, Total Feeling Stations at ANC Mall, Atomic Junction, Batu and Spintex, East Legon, Tesano, Dansuman Sahara, and the one on the Tema Hospital Road. So 2016 has been exciting. Many thanks to those of you who joined us, those of you who made time to watch City News Daily on City TV. From the crew here, we say thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and Zoe Abubedu is Hello. here. Zoe. Hi, thanks so much for being a part of us for 2016. It's going to be bigger, greater, and more fun next year. Just watch out for this space as we give you all the news just as it happens. Just get interactive with us. 2017. Hey, 2017. Happy now Christmas! Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us on 0243. 331 999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.